Okay, everybody. Today I will be explaining how I make these cool car pileups possible. As you see in this video, this bus is going straight and it's not veering right or left or making crazy glitches. It's causing all these cars to fly all over the place, pushes everything everything just goes flying boom so hard to push all that just by a vehicle seat and in fact I did not even use the vehicle seat and this is what I did okay my models wait you know what I have it on recent Now this is what I used for my car pile ups. You see this body velocity and body grile? This is the amount you have to put. And this. I'm not too sure how all this works, but it works perfectly fine for me. This tells how fast the object moves. This is how fast it moves up, and this is how fast it moves while, like, turning. Right or left. Make sure you put all these values. Now, let me do a run. And show you this brick moving. See? It's because of this. If I change the speed to let's say a hundred goes faster, negative a hundred goes backwards, zero makes a complete stop. This should make it go up. Oops. But we're right now focused on going straight. So, typically, the usual formal way of making a car move without you sitting in it would be to make this throttle 1. See, throttle and 1, and the car moves. But that's not what we're doing here. Over here, we'll be putting the brick on the car, making it go the speed we want. Let's do 25. And in comparison, I'll take out another car and make this be a throttle one. And we'll just see how much control there is. Let's test this out. Just make sure this is on. I'll we'll put it in here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have a little race. So now we're gonna do a test. This one has the body grill. And this one just has the standard throttle one. And let's have a race in comparison. Same speed, same Lincoln Town car. So now I'm gonna run this and test it out and have a race. The one with the black windows is the body grill. And the one on the left is the traditional throttle one move. As you can see, this one with the body grill takes off at the speed you put it at. This one does not. And also, I'm going to show you something. Mm -hmm. This one will travel in a straight line while this one will not. I will add obstacles for these cars to go through and see which one has the most control and power. Alright, 
the one that's moving is the the body grill. Let's do test number one. Sorry, this is Windows XP, and it's traveled in a straight line. It hasn't moved the direction it was going. Now let's see how this car does. I moved it back so it picks up enough speed to hit this car. Because this one it takes time to pick up speed, while this one it goes right away at the speed you choose it to go. Alrighty, here we go. Car number. We'll make it go right through this. See how much control there is, or how much less control there is. See the car spins, it goes out of its way. It may look cool, but it's not going in the direction I want it to go. This is why I need to know how to use, or what body grile, or body velocity is.